the Thanksgiving holiday coming up, you know, I want to make sure that everyone is reaching out to uh, their family members, those they may have not been in touch with or haven't spoken to for uh, quite some time. The holidays are always hard for our veterans. Um, you know, please make sure that you're checking in on your family, veterans, friends, family that are out there. Uh, this, this time of year, is, it can be difficult for people while it's still a joyous time. We want to make sure everybody makes it through the holidays to uh, enjoy it with their friends. On another note, what, what I witnessed today was uh, something I was hoping that we wouldn't have to have in our county government. I've watched meetings across the United States where um, groups don't get their way and they interrupt meetings. They lose decorum and respect for the process, the governmental process. And that's what happened today. You know, I have supported this community center, YMCA, and I don't agree in blanket yeses and just appeasing people because they want to hear a certain thing, which is yes, my way or the highway. When we're talking about $16 million plus of taxpayer money, it is our responsibility as good stewards of the taxpayers of this county to ensure every single facet of this project is examined. If it doesn't happen as fast as some would like, well, unfortunately, that's the process. If we don't look at it and examine it and make sure that we don't have facilities that already support these things, make sure that we're putting to use the taxpayer dollars to the best of its ability, then that's a problem. Today was mob rule. That's what this was. Mob rule. You interrupted a sitting county commissioner who was going to make a motion to support this project with a caveat in order to facilitate more research and due diligence beyond our staff. There's already money in the budget for it. I will never be a supporter of mob rule and interrupting the processes of government. Now, I've supported this project for an extensive period of time, and what I witnessed today, I can tell you right now, I absolutely 100% will never vote for the YMCA to be in St. Mary's County based on that behavior and those activities. There is 127,000 people in this county that we need to support, we need to go ahead and examine, that pay taxes. I explained to the supporters that this was not the way to make it happen that we were here, we were going to support it, we were going to look at it, we were going to examine it, it's already in the budget, and it's not gonna be expedited any faster than it is, so due diligence needs to be done. Today was lawlessness, and it was an emotional response to a logical solution that was there. The people in this audience, if this community is watching, are the ones that have caused this project not to move forward. Not the commissioners of St. Mary's County. Because Commissioner Colvin was prepared to make that motion, and I was going to second it. But you interrupted him. Watch the video. You can see it, and that's why he said he was done. And I agree with him, and I support his decision. I hope that cooler heads can prevail, but I can tell you there's going to be a lot of legwork for me to get behind something when community members can act like that because and interrupt the meeting. There's a time and a place for it. If you want to protest, protest, but you do not interrupt the meeting and think that you're gonna get your way on a particular vote because of a mob rule. Uh, that very disappointed, very disappointed. There's been lots of contentious items before these commissioners, and I will tell you right now, this by far was the worst one when it comes to uh, behavior and decorum in, in the commissioner's meeting room. And, and I can tell you that I, I can't think of any other one, actually. So with that being said, I, I have nothing. I'm just extremely disappointed. And uh, Mr. President, thank you for trying to uh, get the meeting back in order. Thank you for taking that recess so everybody could reset and we can move on with the business of this county.